All right, Take a Deep Podcast. It's May 8th, I believe. It's a Friday. It's happy hour edition. I've got five, five on the board with me tonight. So six, including me. For this happy hour edition, we've got Big Mike Palugas back in the house. Hey, hey, also what's got up? Brian, Brian Graff joining us as well. They've been kind of the fast food, happy hour, food edition, episode staples. I've got two other really, really special guests. Not that all my guests are special, but these guys are more special than the guests I've had. Sorry, everybody else. No offense. So we're going to start off with um, a gentleman I met at the, uh, at the institution I currently work at, which is the University of New Haven. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. What I am here to talk about is this gentleman was the head football coach there. And um, as we were discussing off air, I, uh, I got to this, uh, this institution. I looked around and I wasn't sure I was going to find anyone that I, quite frankly, um, could hang out with, talk to. Just there was a lot of people that weren't my speed. However, I ran into this guy. Took me about 45 seconds to a minute and a half to say, okay, at least I got one. Um, Pete Rosamondo, he's had a couple stops. He's climbing up the uh, major college football ladder as we speak. He's currently the offensive line coach at the SEC Power Vanderbilt. Um, joining us all the way from Nashville. Pete, welcome to the show. It's great to have you. Thanks for having me, Chris. Appreciate it, man. It's great to be back with you. Oh, anytime. I miss you like you wouldn't believe. I miss <laughs> seeing you every day. Um, but it's, I'm glad we could do this. Since it is happy hour, you are new. Tell us what you're drinking. I saw the classy rocks glass. Classy, classy rocks glass with a little bit of Woodford Reserve. Neat, neat. I like my neat. I mean, the guy goes top shelf every time I'm with him. That's what I love about him, <laughs> top shelf. Now, moving, we've got another special guest. This was a last-minute addition. This guy does every single thing in his life last minute, by the way. I love him to death. He's like my little brother. I've been with him for a while. He, I, he played for me. I coached him. He then, well, quote-unquote, was my volunteer graduate <laughs> assistant, Went to, was my graduate assistant at UNH for three years, never took a class, which just sums it up. That's why he's fantastic. Maybe four years. Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. Three and, three and a half. Couldn't yeah. finish out that fourth in Comiskey fashion. <laughs> he it. had a bell mid-year. <laughs> it was um, <laughs> such a good experience. Great to have him. He's currently living in Colorado. Um, Tim Comiskey, welcome to the show. Talk about what, what's going on right now. You're in Colorado. You work at one of these establishments that provides, I would say, joy. I would say medication. I would yep. say a lot of things to a lot of people. I sell um, smiles. That's what I do. I sell smiles. Pretty much. Yeah. You, sm <laughs> you do sell smiles in Colorado. Um, what are we drinking? You're here at happy hour. What, what, what do we got? Uh, I got some Tullamore Dew, a nice uh, Irish whiskey. Uh, goes down like nails every time. It's beautiful. <laughs> I would like to say it's very rare that Pete Rosamondo is not the highest profile special guest you get. So I'm sorry to uh, rain on your parade a little bit there, Pete, but come on. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> yeah, it, it listen, listen there's not ways. many three-year graduate assistants in the world. And listen, yeah. that's yeah. never, With, oh, yeah, that's never, also, been paid, never been paid or taken a class. I want to With make zero that clear. credits, by the way. <laughs> that half, that zero half credits. Year. That half year came on the front end, not the back end. Just so I know, oh, I know. I remember that half year. I started. Uh, yes. I started in January. That's why. So exactly. And you just, you didn't fire me. I left. <laughs> <laughs> you volunteered. Neither counts. I did honestly, that, and it was the. I, I still use that on my community service. On your and resume, you know that's only, awesome. Yeah. I only bring in the best. I only bring yeah. in the best. Listen, I only work with the best. We were together. This is a clear. Uh, we were, we were together for just a shade under a decade, and it was the best uh, eight years of my life. Uh, I still, to this day, will find myself in tears laughing about stupid shit at the uh, – oops, sorry. At <laughs> stupid stuff. We can curse. We can okay, curse. we can't curse. All right, cool. I don't know if uh, – Don't go nuts, but we can. No, no, I won't go curse. But uh, the hibachi grill, uh, I don't know, anything <laughs> like that. Just, uh, just endless good times with you. Uh, like I said, I think – uh, like you said about Pete, I knew with him about – 45 seconds that you were my guy. Uh, yeah. Hey, He's Hibachi best, Grill still going? Ever. It better be. Uh, strong. Hibachi, strong. Hibachi Grill in West Haven, Connecticut, going strong. Just yeah. take out. Just take out, I assume, right? Take it survived the Correct. pandemic. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> They're the only they, ones. Yeah. They're the only ones is right. That they squirting sake in your anywhere. mouth when you pick up your food, Chris? What do you think? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a, it's no, a, I think they, they, dis they have it in a water gun. 
And when you pick up the food, you just open up and they give you a couple squirts. It's so, like it's like a it's like a Purell dispenser next to the door. Yeah, nice koi yeah. pond when you walk in, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so Big Mike, what uh for this happy hour, you've gone Bud Light Lime in the past, which is completely soft. Mm-hmm. You've done you 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 actually came back to the pack last week. What do we have this week? This week, uh, I went to the vault and I pulled out the best of the skunky beer in the garage collection. And I found uh, some Yingling Lager, uh, referred nice. to uh, from Rick Cole Jr. as Young Guns, for whatever okay. reason. <laughs> and since yep. I'm a classy guy, I'm drinking it out of my uh, plastic uncle side cup. <laughs> uh, that's where I'm at right now. So um, it's an all-time low in my house for alcohol. You big Duck Dynasty guy? Wow. Okay. It's a re-gift. Okay. From a Great, elephant, white are... elephant party. I'll let that slide. Griff, you uh, are known as Frank the Tank in some circles, so you <laughs> have to have something good. What, what are we drinking? I got, I'm, in, I'm in a wine kick these days. So we got a uh, Cabernet from Washington, Substance Winery. Very good. Washington is going to be the new uh, uh, California Cabs. I highly recommend this. 2018 yeah. is a bad year for, for grapes, though. This is a good year for ca- this Cabernet, though. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so when you, when, you go get your, when you go get your drink, let us know, and we'll, we'll ask you what you're drinking. Um, I'm going with the old, old reliable. Um, as usual, sometimes I deviate. I go gentleman's jack sometimes. But for the guests I have today, I, needed to, I couldn't go unleaded. I needed the real thing. This is the regular. High this test. is the diesel. Um, I've already poured in twice. We'll see how long this goes, what happens. I can't be held responsible. Um, I do go in a Yeti, as I always say. I go in a Yeti, and I'll tell you why. Comiskey, you'll enjoy this. Pete, I already told you. It's climate control. Yeah. It doesn't get watered down with the ice. I yeah. don't have to worry about temperature, and it stays right where I want it. Who cares how long the show is? I'm going to try to keep us at 30 minutes. That's what the people tell me they want, but I'm not in the business of satisfying anyone but myself, so we'll see. <laughs> um, we are going to go today. We're going to go today, first and foremost, since I won't be on air until probably Monday, happy Mother's Day to everyone, wives, sisters, especially mothers, happy Mother's Day. Um, you guys are the glue. I'm sure everybody on this podcast can say that. Um, Comiskey is the only single one, although that's probably changing soon as much as you want to admit it. single um, But I think we can all thank our wives, moms. Um, fortunate enough to still have my mom with me. Um, and um, I appreciate everything, obviously, that um, her and my wife do. Um, if you guys want to do a quick little salute right now, Graf, you can start us. Feel free. Yeah, cheers. Wives and moms. So you going? All with? right, very heartfelt. We'll see you on the couch tonight. Uh, Mike? Uh, shout out to my, my grandmother, my, uh, my mother-in-law, and uh, my wife and my sister. It's their first Mother's Day. So peace, uh, shout out to my sister, Melissa. Hey, your sister had a baby? Yeah, someone actually, you know, you know, they had, they, they did it and they pop one up, you know. With the guy we don't need to go through the, the whole mechanics. That's a different episode. <laughs> Text them later, Greg. Uh, Petey, Petey, anybody you want to wish a happy Mother's Day to? Yeah, my mom Barbara, who's in the house today, she's actually in Tennessee with us, and uh, and my wife Jessica are definitely the glue. And I've heard over the last, what is it, two months now, many many times. I've been doing this by myself for twenty years. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what my wife tells me. So I'm going to shut Amen. up now. That's right. Comiskey, last but not least. Yeah, I guess in the uh, offshoot chance, my mother figures out how to work a podcast. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, to my girlfriend, any girl who dates me has a little bit of mom built into her. So, uh, babe, I'm sorry. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> very fitting. Very fitting. Now, yeah. we'll and Shelly. The- Happy Mother's Day to Shelly. I love Shelly. Too, so best in the world best in the world we know best that. in the world they don't they don't make them like that no i broke the mold i broke a lot of things yeah, you did. this is um <laughs> this is the white meat tonight we're going top five fast food menu items now tim comiskey yes. for my money is a fast food expert slash connoisseur, connoisseur. Um, he's right, he's the guy he's the guy that will eat fast food every single meal He's the guy that'll eat five times a day. He's the guy that I got one day. We tallied calories. He was in a good run. He yep. got the 10,000 before calories lunch. Be- before lunch. Before we, lunch. We mathematically, 10,000 10, calories before lunch. Guy stays super skinny. It's, um, it's actually one of those eight, – he's like the eighth wonder of the world. I don't know how yeah. he does it. Um, but that being said, 
He also has extensive knowledge. I'm also very confident, my other three guests. So we're going to go through our top five, top five fast food menu items. Now, these are specific. It's not the actual restaurant, the building, the brick and mortar, whatever you want to call it. It's just the item. You could have repeat items from same establishments. Um, we all probably have some honorable mentions before we get to our top five. Just so you know, I'll give you a little bit about my list, the little rules I had. For me, there are no pizza places on my list. No, no. Domino's, no Papa John's. That's sacrilege. That no. pizza is not fast food. It can't be. I know Coach no. Roz agrees with that one. Never no. going to happen. No. You, my, my list, every place on my list also has a drive through If you don't have a drive through I, I have a problem with calling you fast food. That's just me. You need a drive through for me, for me. And last but not least, guys, here's the thing. I know that our lists could probably be – very regional. Um, at least I think they will. I didn't go with, you know, the times I went to California and got in and out. Yeah, it was fantastic. I went to Jack's or places that I don't normally frequent. They didn't make my list because I just didn't feel right. I didn't feel right about it. I could easily put in and out on here. I could easily put places like Jack's, other places that aren't in my region. So I stayed close to basically home. And I, it's all the places I give repeat business to, put it to you that way. Um, what a patriot I will say yeah, so I, yeah. I, have, I have one choice that made my top five in spite of that rule and then I have one choice that stayed out of my top five because of that rule so I am very hypocritical on this list but I agree with you wholeheartedly yeah, yeah way to play the middle so yeah what exactly I'm a graph I'm a graph like hey like yeah. chicks are great happy mother's day not me not me. I kept my I kept my uh, out of out of region ones for the honorable mention. I, uh, there, I mean, there's one smart thing to do. To me, there's one regardless of regionality or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it is you can't ignore it. So sorry. I know sorry. exactly what you, I know, and I know which one that's going to be. I just so gave let's it do away. this. I just gave. We'll it away. start with Comiskey since you are the pro. We're going to start go, with bro. you. I know you have a number of honorable mentions. Is that correct? I do. I have quite a few. Yes. So we'll go through your honorable mentions. Tell us when we get to number five, you're going to go through number five all the way up to one. All right. So I'm going to start with my honorable mentions. I'm going to go reverse order for my honorable mentions with my most prominent first and then my least prominent last. Uh, the one that was really tough to leave out, uh, the McRib. I mean, come on. There was hysteria. How many fast food items can you say had legit hysteria attached to it? McRib, that's it. Uh, mozzarella sticks, they're on there. Um, from where? From where? That's, that's why they're not on the top five, because there's a couple of them. There's Arby's, there's Burger King, and all of them are lackluster. However, that being said, to get mozzarella sticks at a fucking drive through come on. Can't all right. Beat that. Can't beat that. Uh, Checkers fries, just missed. Just missed. Uh, in my opinion, pound for pound, best fries in the fast food game. You're not going to find anything like them anywhere. Uh, yeah. Checkers fries, top notch. Also, all other fries, because French fries are not a top five fast food item. Uh, McDonald's nice. and Arby's in curly your fries. In my mind, yes, in my mind. Okay. Uh, McDonald's and Arby's curly fries, those are the, the – and checkers fries. Those are the three that kind of fit that criteria for me. Uh, dollar tacos from Jack in the Box. Good choice. Uh, I dare you to find a better item at 3 a.m. than that. Um, moving on. Whopper. The King. Have it your way. Come on. Uh, and then last but not least, my honorable mentions is Arby's roast beef cheddar. Another thing. Uh, you know, good luck finding that somewhere else. Uh, now we're so into the top five here? Now we're into the fucking bread and butter. All right, let's go. Uh, so now, so now, now you've got that's a pretty eclectic list, which is great. Yeah. So now, what you're telling me is you're going five through one. These are these are head and shoulders above everything you just mentioned. In your mind, correct, correct, and also In and Out Burger was in my honorable mentions too. Mm -hmm. This guy has an honorable mention book. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, did you like, not see It's my like Moses list? with the pallets yeah, yeah, on the mountain, dude. Do you not see my list? Okay, so now, so now, starting with number five, what is your five? Uh, White Castle sliders. The OG. That is the, uh, you know, I, it's, the, it's the first fast food item. It's the best fast food item. Anything that you could eat uh, a dozen of and 
uh, not even break a sweat. You're good in my book. They also have good mozzarella stick at White Castle. There you go. Though. Well, that fits in the mozzarella sticks too. Yeah. But still, they are still subpar. They're lackluster. Uh, you know, God. there is no such thing as a good fast food. Right Who there. decide? Who decide right there? How do two Long Island guys put mozzarella sticks on the on? <laughs> I love how he threw the the mozzarella <laughs> thing there. That's the Staten Island coming out of him now. He threw the little. Oh, oh, oh I love it. Yeah, it's sacrilege. It's sacrilege. I know. It's crazy. It is. But whatever. The fact, can, the fact, I can get them fucking. Solano, you were Italian. You better not be putting any of those on there. <laughs> they're all my honorable. Pete. They're all my honorable mentions for a reason. No, Pete. no Chris has Helios Pete on Sorry, his Helios Pete. Pizza made his list. <laughs> Sorry, Tim, I didn't mean to interrupt you. They were all so my honorable mentions four. for you're a reason. Number four. Pete. Number four, chicken McNuggets. Classic. Uh, uh, are we you going are ten? We, you going four? McDonald's? You going twenty? Twenty piece, always twenty piece. McDonald's. So here's here's how I do my like standard like if I go to the drive through at McDonald's, I get uh, a large uh, quarter pounder with cheese, and then I get a twenty piece nugget, and then on the drive home, my fries are my fries, and then when I get home, my twenty piece nuggets become my fries for my quarter pounder. Does that make sense? Are we saucing? What are we doing here? We got sauces. Uh, if you get anything other than sweet and sour. Oh, I agreed. Actually, so, and then there's there's only one other acceptable answer for dipping sauces, and it's hot mustard. So so what you're saying is the fries are for the ride. Yep, those are my road fries. And then my home yep. fries, my home fries are chicken nuggets. I like it. You, like you sound like, like a 400-pound man. I, like I, I sound the way you look. The, yes, that's true. Yeah. You, yes, I like yes. it. The guy is a Picasso of fast food. I, love, this yeah. lot. I love what's going on here right now. I'm learning when, a lot. I'm dude, learning when, a lot. When, when Chris said 10,000 calories before lunch, that was a, a that was a exaggeration. It was 10,000 calories by like 10.30 a.m. Oh, Correct. Oh my God. Solano Correct. hasn't stopped writing right now. He's taking notes up there. <laughs> Circle there was I'm that one day. <clears throat> so also, like, not to uh, not to sidebar too much from my list, but do you also remember when they opened up that Popeyes chicken around the corner from my first apartment? Yes, in downtown. And do you remember that I knew it was a Popeyes as soon as they laid the foundation? Yes, I did. <laughs> I spotted. He saw, I said, he saw the he colors. Saw a couple I saw the colors. Cinder blocks. He saw, saw a couple th- cinder blocks and the makings of a sign, and said, "That's a Popeyes." And That's the guy was dead on. So now we're at here's another top story. Three. Top three. Uh, so number number three, uh, double bacon cheeseburger, um, versatile. That's like your your utility player. That's your, your Joe McEwing. Uh, what do you need? You need breakfast. You need lunch. You need dinner. Uh, you drunk or you sober? But which is the cheese. best establishment for this? Wendy's In double bacon mind. double DBC okay. from Wendy's. Sorry, sorry, I meant that. Gotcha. I thought that I thought that went uh, hand in hand. I wrote them, if you can see, I wrote them in all capital letters because it's, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's a, uh, whatever you call that. <clears throat> uh, now you've got your Maris and Mantle right now. This is Roger Maris, Mickey Mantle. You're one and two. Uh, so so number two. Number two, uh, Chick-fil-A sandwich. I mean, that's the goat as far as I'm concerned uh, for uh, nighttime fast food sandwiches. Uh, Chris can attest, we would go down to Florida for a week every year. Um, I would go to Chick-fil-A no less than six times in those seven days. Correct. Usually it was three, three breakfasts, three dinners, and, or three breakfasts, two dinners, and then one uh, cooking cream shake. At yeah. Night. Breakfast isn't bad from there either. Nothing yeah, there. But, uh, but their breakfast is just their chicken nuggets put in this little yeah. thing. Yeah, biscuit. Still works. Yeah. Still works, yep. Remember Jack, Jack something, what was that kid's name? Jack, uh, Jack Heary. He, he stole one of my fucking, sorry, I did it again. He stole one of my chicken nuggets. I mean, you're just, I, I'm hitting the dump button every single yeah. minute. <laughs> he stole one of my chicken nuggets and I lost I my do. mind. We were watching Selection <laughs> Sunday. It's uh, hard to get Comiskey, it's hard to get Comiskey to that point, but if you mess with up. his fast food, he becomes an animal. You. Uh, so now I know where you're going with number one. I know where you're going. Do you but, really? Go ahead. Tell wait, the public. Wait, can you write it, write it down? I want you to flash it to me when I say it. Because I feel like I'm going to shock you with this one. It was you already, showed we, us already. You showed us oh. already. Oh, it's Egg McMuffin. <laughs> <laughs> number one is Egg McMuffin. 
the most versatile okay. of all fast foods. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm wow. Get, and and get, it could be eaten any time of the day. It could be eaten any time of the day. You can get it at midnight. You can get it at 6 a.m. You can get it at 9 a.m. You can get drunk. You can get sober. And it tastes the same. It tastes the same. Okay. I mean, the, the pro has spoken. I, I like the list. We're going to say right uh, into it. And Eggs Benedict, Eggs Benedict is like the fanciest breakfast you can get. And it's like the poor man's Egg Benedict right here in front of you. So. That is the poor man's Egg Benedict. That, that is, that's something that you should coin that one. That, that is all correct. We're they already said that. Right in, we're going to segue right in. Well, no, <laughs> you said it first in my mind. So. All right. <laughs> we're going to segue right into the SEC conference with uh, Coach Roz. I have to say, Tim, I, that was anticlimactic for me. Uh, I was expecting a huge crescendo, and and uh, it was a little bit. And I and I got you know I got nothing but respect for you when it comes to that stuff. So I'll go through quickly my uh, my honorable mentions: White Castle sliders, uh, the the Chalupa from Taco Bell, which I, I'm a huge fan. Anything Taco Bell. Um, I love Wendy's Frosties. I don't know if that. But that's on. It's on the honorable mention. I'm an egg McMuffin yep. honorable mention guy, All even right. though I love them. I can eat them anytime. But Mike's face. <laughs> um, I'm an in, in and out fries guy. Yeah. Boo. Uh, if I had animal style. Up, we're going animal style, Pete. What are we thinking? Yeah, no, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> it's probably probably my favorite. In and out is probably my favorite overall. Uh, French fast fries. Food. You're talking about French fries. French fries. Yep. I'm an in and out. Everything is null and void after this. I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> All yeah. right. So so starting on my top five. Uh, my number five is Whopper with cheese, no mayo. I hate hate no mayo on hot food. Sorry, uh, some guys Green. love it. I hate it. Um, number four, McDonald's double cheeseburger. Girch. I mean, talk about a classic. I'm a burger guy. It's got girth. It's got uh, it's got obviously flavor. You can eat four of them. Uh, no worries. Love it. Uh, three, uh, Wendy's triple. Uh, you haven't lived till you had a Wendy's triple, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, I love, I love, I need, I need meat. You know, uh, well, number two, I'm a you're Nathan, no line guy. You're no line guy. No, no doubt. I'm a Nathan's hot dog guy. Uh, wow. Number two is a Nathan's hot dog with with spicy mustard and crowd. I can That's eat underrated. Them, underrated. Uh, crush them. Yeah, snap. Wow. My, my number one, the peak, is my Chick Fil A spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. Um, good sandwich. It's it's my that's my go to road road trip sandwich. Love the waffle fries too, but I, I you know they're they're fries. They're waffle fries. Nah, they're they're accoutrements. They they go on the yeah. side, but yeah. Yeah. spicy chicken is my deal. That that's not my number Gee, one. That's my guy. Um, crush it, good Pete. List. Just but real quick, Pete. If you go double cheeseburger at McDonald's, is there? Is there any temptation to think about the, the, the quarter pounder with cheese or the double quarter pounder with cheese? There's a big difference. Is there it, there is, a but it's a, it's, a, it's a $2 sandwich. Correct. You know what I mean? So I'd rather get two or three of those than get a double quarter pounder. That's That's just, Staten Island it's my preference. Right and, uh, you know, I just, I'm sticking to it, you know. I, and, and to be honest with you, I think there's one piece of cheese on the double cheeseburger. And yep. two on the double. I mean, on Correct. the quarter pound. <laughs> look at look at Grant. Oh, like, yep. <laughs> so I'm. I like. I like the. I like the taste. The meat. A lot of bread on that double. Uh, and, and well, you, you know, the thing is, you, you spoke my language because you got six pieces of bread now instead of two. That's what and, I'm talking and, about. It, yeah. yeah, and that's just. I mean, that's why you're on the show. A lot of bread. So, yeah. um, this guy gets it. Grant, we can shift to you now. Let's see the guy who's drinking wine from Costco, <laughs> wherever you got that. Oh, um, Costco. Look, we're gonna go with, we're gonna Costco's go with got good wine. They do. I, I, believe it or not, they do. They have the, my favorite wine of all time. If you found at Costco sometime, it's called Farniente. It's uh, it's not you cheap. Sell it? And and I'm not you know trying to say I, I'm upper end wine drinker. It's just a, my personal favorite, and they do have it at Costco, which is actually where I did purchase this, folks. So Costco, <laughs> I, well, I'm okay. Can you uh, say that one so more time? Farniente. Uh, Farniente. So I, I'm you have like, honorable mentions. I got a bunch of honorable mentions. I got a bunch. Okay, let's go. Let's hear it. Let's go. Original chicken sandwich from Burger King. Honorable mention. Oh, so underrated. The long one? No, hold on. Hold on. The long I like, do like the mayo on it. The long one. The long one? Yeah. Yeah. The long one? Yeah. Underrated. It's, it's very it underrated. Looks like a giant, very. It looks like a giant uh, McDonald's hash brown, correct? Yes. That light, yes. that style? Correct. When you bite into it, it looks like particle plywood. 
It's the only yes. sandwich I like mayo yes. on. Only one. But it Brian looks is like the walls of my basement when you bite into it. <laughs> correct. Yes. Brian, so I don't, that's why I don't eat it. Because I can't Brian have has mayo terrible, on my like, Brian has terrible taste in food. I will say this. Before you get into it, what was that place, the sandwich place in New Haven that I fucking hated? Wow, four F bombs today, uh, Timmy. Sorry. <laughs> It's terrible. I don't. Oh, I, I don't. Uh, all of them. The D. The one that started with the D. The one that started with the D. The Bellas. The oh, Bellas. Bellas. I hated the Bellas. That was Brian's favorite place. It was just well, there goes that sponsorship, folks. Daylene. Daylene. Daryl. Daylene loved that too. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> the Bellas didn't make the list. <laughs> you couldn't get a. So moving through. All right. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. So you just went. Yeah. Okay. You went original chicken sandwich, Burger King. Yeah. That's crazy. Doritos, Taco, Taco Bell, honorable mention. Okay. Yeah. There you go, like fat kid. Apple that was good. That's Cheese a fat guy. Rogers, honorable yeah. mention. Has what to be it? the cheeseburger. Um, McDonald's French fries, best French fries out there. The McNugget, Wendy's Frosty, and then I don't even know if they make these anymore, but do you remember the apple pies at McDonald's? Hell yes. They yes, and the they still out. make them. Yeah, they, they still, still make, make them. them. And they're still yes. fried. Yeah, uh, who just said hell yes like that? Who was that? Me. That was, yeah, that was that Pete. was, that wow, was so so. That, that is the so. Let's not let's not overlook what Coach Rosamondo just brought up. Those are they fry those by the way. Oh, they so fry good. those. Oh, they, phenomenal. They, 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 they fry them and they're made with love. If you like, when they make them, mm. you can eat you can eat twelve of those and you you don't blink. And they're about a dollar each. So hey, anyway, listen, you don't get look you don't get to look like me by eating salad, brother. It's fried. Apple pie. Yeah, you're called Big Ellie for a reason, right? That's right, baby. <laughs> so now, Griff, so now we're on the board now, right? This yeah, is let's five. go. Real deal. Five. five. Beef Ten. and cheddar from Arby's. Wow. Okay. RBC. Sandwich, but very good sandwich. Four. McGriddle from McDonald's. What are you going? Sausage? Bacon? What are we doing, Brian? Talk yeah. to me. I like the sausage, but I, they usually do like the two for four dollars or whatever. Also, oh, you're cheap. That's why. Whatever it was. Also, yeah, not not to cut you off. Have you had one of those recently? No. The amount of syrup that they put in there has dropped drastically. Oh, it really? It used to be like I would eat one of those, and it was like I got shot with a fucking trench. That's five. We're keeping count now, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, F bomb, Timmy. F bomb, Timmy, killing it. Yeah, it was like I got shot with a tranquilizer dart. Now we can eat those things and like jog a mile and not even break a sweat. <laughs> Easy with jogging the mile. Easy, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I power walk a mile. I'm not jogging a mile. Tim. I'm Sorry. not jogging anything at this point. I jog up the stairs. That's about <laughs> it. But anyway, McGriddles on the way home from uh, Public House and crush them. They've they've lost their luster. I will. So I'm gonna. Well, I haven't had one in a little bit. My no, wife just wants to say hello. Um, so now we're in the top three. Spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's, number three. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Two. Cheesy gordita crunch from Taco Bell. I don't even know. Is your number two? Is your number two? Do they still make that? Yes. We would crush it. May it may not appear. It may not appear on the board, but you can order it. Put it that way. Secret menu items count. And now this is your final. This is the this is the top of Mount Rushmore. What do we got? I'm curious. Chick Fil A. Chicken sandwich. Wow. Yes. Chicago. I like the spicy too, Pete. But yeah, I like them both. Chick fil A. They count. I've, I've never been the same. disappointed at Chick fil A ever. They're all in the yeah. same. So, Chick fil A yeah, is yeah, a big winner. <laughs> Chick fil A so, is a big winner right now. Mike's getting, he's, he, Mike's like this. He's so like, as we move, back in his as we move, ready. <laughs> but as we move, I'm so to ready. I'm so ready. We, we, did, we did our top know. five. Recently, did our top five snack chips, and Mike Palugas came up with a list that was very, very um, authentic to him. To my he Brooklyn things, heritage, that's right. His was Brooklyn the- bodega heritage. That's he right. had things such as Bravos on the top five. Oh, I love Bravos. Um, that's my man. See? Fried Chicken plantain noodle? chips. Fried plantain chips on the Plantanos. top five. Folks. Come on, of course. The chicken Dipsy waffles. Dipsy doodles. Dipsy doodles. I mean, the guy, well, so it's I'm just looking a corn chip. To this list. I've heard I'm of Dipsy Doodles in the list. I love Dipsy Doodles. All right, here we go. Honorable mention, I, number one. Uh, from Wanta or Massapequa, whatever the hell that place is, the All-American Burger Drive-In Double Cheeseburger. 
Yeah, it's a good choice. Okay, Chris, Way you live break. around the corner from that place. It like melts in your mouth. You, you, just, know, broke, right. you just broke rule number one, Mike. Come on. But it's an honorable mention. It's an honorable okay. mention. That's fair. So, That's all right. Fair. Honorable mention number two is the in and out double double with cheese animal style. That's fair. Oh, yeah. just extra animal sauce. Just give me packets. I'm eating it like crazy. All right, number five. You ready for this? The fat kid inside of me has to talk about this, and it's it's breaking all of your drive-in, drive-through rules. It's the <laughs> bourbon chicken from the mall. <laughs> oh, like, dude, 100% uh, Darku, or whatever the fuck it's called. True, yeah, true there's story. There's one called da- Darku. Six. There's Six. Panda, Panda Express. I don't no, know. No, 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 not Panda that. Express. No, no Panda it's, Express. Bat, it's bat, bat droppings. That's bat droppings. Yeah. Darku. <laughs> it's Wuhan, Wuhan flu. Uh, yeah, Wuhan, right. Wuhan flu stuff, yeah. Wuhan right. Express. So you're walking past the so, Fix, right? You you gotta yeah. So here it's all it's all about the technique. You gotta walk by all the sample people, pretend like you're not gonna buy something. Walk by them again, and then the lady she just lays it on you with the Bourbon Street chicken. All right. So here's wait, so wait we'll real, say, real quick. Oh, sorry. We'll say your number five is Mall Food Court Bourbon Chicken. Can we oh, say that? Phenomenal. But here's phenomenal. The, here's the real question: Is how do you how do you order it though, Mike? I say, give me a double meat, no vegetables. Uh, yeah, you say extra meat, wow. extra sauce. Extra meat, yeah. extra sauce. That's how you yeah, say. extra meat, extra sauce, no veggies. Get those that's out of here. Answer. You're wasting your extra time, meat, lady. Extra meat, extra sauce. That's the answer. All right. I mean, I don't want to tell you how great, this looks. That is a great I don't want to tell you how this looks. <laughs> but you're number five. I'm already – I don't care what else is on this list. This list is fantastic. All right. Hey, that's a great one. Number, so, number, number four, the Popeye spicy crispy chicken sandwich. The, the the chicken patty is the size of my fist. I don't know if you Chick-fil-A guys are all, oh, it's I'm delicious. Better. It's dipped in pickle juice. Uh, I'm, I'm all about the love that chicken for Popeyes. You're I'm a girth sorry. guy. You're a girth guy. Not better. Oh. It's not better. He wants girth. Delicious. All right, here we go. Going with girth, Pete. Ready for this one? <laughs> yeah. The KFC double glazed donut chicken sandwich. <laughs> wow. Have yeah, you wow. seen one of those? Have you had one of those? I have. I'm not a KFC it's, guy. It's at two, all. two glazed donuts with a chicken patty inside. I would never. Eat that. You just eat I've it. Had it. Oh, I've had it's phenomenal. It. It's phenomenal. I can't wait. Now, now we're down to your top. Two. I can't even imagine what your top two are. <laughs> all right, my top, my top two are actually kind of. They're kind of lame, but they're not lame. They mean a lot to me. So, because I grew up like a mile away from this place. It's uh number two, is Nathan's. Nathan's hot dog. Yes, sir. Uh, just like Pete. Um, I grew up in Coney Island, so it's spicy mustard, like you said. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the number one is the Nathan's cheese fries. Oh, I knew it. Legit. I yeah, knew they're it. They're legit. With the little, the little devil fork creamy, that they give creamy you. Creamy fries, Ooh. man. Oh, the best. Fr- the, the, I should. I miss those fries. They're the best. Oh. The pitchfork. The pitchfork is yeah, what the, it. puts it over the top. Oh. I, I agree. And if oh, you no. get to the, yeah. to the, to the little. Uh, salad bar, you throw some onions in there, now oh. it's a party. Now it's a party. Now it's a party. I like, I like where you're at, Mike. I like it. I got to say. Yeah, like Mike, you're you're your list, once again, um, did not disappoint. Um, I like I'll get into mine. I feel like I'm mopping the floor here. But anyway, um, first of all, first of all, as I mentioned, you, I, I need, you need to have a drive through for me. It's, I went kind of regional. But I have three honorable mentions. I have five in my top five, of course. So I'll start with my honorable mentions. The first one is um, from a place called Checkers, um, which I'm not sure everybody on this panel has eaten out of Checkers or knows what it is. That. Um, uh, the banana shake from Checkers, which shake? is you went with unbelievable. The shake? Wow. Unbelievable. I like it's the Sonic banana shake. I like the Sonic banana shake. I do too. However... If you get the the the, the, uh, the checkers banana shake has more of that chemical taste and there's something about I'm gonna that. Try that. I'm, gonna I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it. It's fantastic. It's being fantastic. down in Dixie down here, we got checkers. So I was, I was gonna say you probably have a couple of those. You oh, know, yeah. your parts. Um, yes, so that was my next honorable mention was mentioned before on some lists. The Popeye's chicken sandwich. Now here's my problem with Popeye's. I think that I think the chicken. And the patty is fantastic. It's huge. The chicken is high quality. I'll give you that. The bread is not as good as I want it to be. They don't have a piece of cheese in the building. Popeye's chicken does not have a piece of cheese on the property at all. I've checked. I've asked. Not that I would even put it on. I'm just saying 
If a place doesn't have cheese, I really don't know how far I can endorse it. <laughs> so to me, they're on the honorable mention list. People were people were wiling out over these sandwiches. I know you guys probably remember, right? Oh, Six, yeah. seven, September, eight, nine, October. Months oh, ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. People were people were getting killed. People were driving their cars into each other. <laughs> people were fighting. I, I watched every single video online of of I saw a food court brawl in a mall. Seriously, that looked like it looked like a pirate ship. It looked like someone attacking a pirate ship. There was trays flying everywhere, people jumping over tables, and I didn't know what it was about till I read the caption fighting over Popeye's chicken sandwiches. So anything that people are that passionate about got to end up somewhere. My last honorable mention was mentioned before as well, the Frosty from Wendy's, which I think is um, too good. I'd love to say it's, myster it's mysterious, and it's got, but we all know what it is. It's some type of fake kind of milkshake, but there's something about it that makes it better in my mind than a regular milkshake. So that's my last honorable mention. Now I'm going to go to my top five. Coming up from the bottom, the number five is the Nacho Supreme Doritos Taco from Taco Bell. It's, it's got to be supreme. If I'm going to get it, I need the sour cream. I need everything else in there. Basically just the sour cream. Tomatoes could not exist on the planet. I wouldn't care except for sauce. But the taco, the supreme version is much better than the regular. So that's my number five. Um, my number four is easily, and I think this was mentioned, the best French fries are McDonald's French fries. There's no question. Like, there, there is no question. Um, I, I enjoy the fact that you can obviously eat them on the way home and then put nuggets as your fries. That whole thing just rocked my world about 30 minutes ago. I, I didn't even, never even thought of that. Thank God I never thought of that. Um, that's my four. My number three, I took a page out of Grass Book, I believe. The Cheesy Gordita Crunch from Taco Bell is my number three. Um, Supreme? I love tacos and Ask them. No, 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 no. Because, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You got no sauce? I don't like the, the, the sauce is no good. It's like some mystery. It looks like, um, it looks like ranch, but it's darker. It's, it's, little, and, like, and then they, it, it yeah. just does, they, it, it, it does something to the whole chemistry of the thing. And I, I it throws me off, but if you it's can put ranch. both shells together with cheese, that to me, that's like, that's like inventing the, the wheel. Like you just, <laughs> you just invented the wheel. So to me, Cheese Gordita Crunch is the number three. I'm into my uh, I'm into my Willie Mays Mickey Mantle here. My number two is the sausage egg McMuffin from McDonald's. I know there was some egg, egg McMuffin talk. Canadian bacon does nothing for me. Nothing <laughs> at all. Not even bacon. It's, it's like sorry ham. It's ham. It's, it's exactly. from the back. It's, it's from the back of the ham. It's, it's I don't pig. need anything from the back of the ham. I don't need anything called Canadian bacon in my life. It has no purpose. So that, to me, the, the Egg McMuffin itself, I agree with the whole egg thing, I, Timmy, I do. But Canadian bacon, to me, what, 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 why does McDonald's have something with Canadian bacon? Probably cheaper to make, probably fits on the bun easier, whatever. They have people, they pay a lot of money to figure these things out. The sausage McMuffin blows it away. Like, blows it away. That fake sausage meat, the whole, with the, with, it's just, it's fantastic. Also deep fry but, the sausage, by the way. Of course they do. Why wouldn't you? That's why we go. I'm not, yeah. listen, Every case. If we're gonna make real sausage. I'll make it at my house. I'll go to a real restaurant, right? Like, these are two for four dollars. Everything goes in that Brian box. Brian said it. Brian Brian said it correctly. It's two for four dollars. Yeah. So I'm at the top. I'm at my the top of uh, Mount Rushmore for me. My holy grail is definitely the Chick Fil A, which I actually have one. I have one right here. That's awesome. The uh, the Chick Fil A original sandwich. Now, it's simple, right? With Couple with pickles. the pickle. With pickles, Couple or pickles that? Yeah. Okay. no, yeah. with the stop, 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 stop. stop. Are you putting the sauce? Let me ask you a question. Are you putting the sauce on it? Um, as um, old dirty bastard, the rapper once said, "Give it to me raw." I uh, do not use the sauce. <laughs> me neither. Me neither. Amen. Uh, al natural, as they say. Uh, it is the best fast food item, in my opinion, by far. It's not close. I don't even need the deluxe, to be honest with you. I get it a lot, but and, – and, and I agree, Pete, you hit a nail on the head. The, the fries there are basically, you know, it's, it's something that you, you get. Yeah, yeah, and you get it, but, yeah. I mean, come on. It's – um, it's, the fries are the sidecar on the motorcycle. Like, no it's doubt. Not, it's no, not no. – The fries you need, are – You don't they're need the fries. Are, they're getting dragged along, whereas McDonald's, the fries right. are the star. Yeah. Correct. Hold on, Chris. If you love Chick Fil A, you have a Sam's Club by you. 
This stuff right here. Yeah, it's pretty. It close. tastes like Chick Fil A. It's ridiculous. It does. That's pretty that, close. That that, that 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 cannot be true. I will never <laughs> buy that. Chicken bites, um, bro. Delicious. It's pretty it's close. It's not gonna happen. I'd rather good. just go to Chick Fil A. Make your own sauce. Mike, as a matter of fact, though, I. Yeah, why do, you, why do you have those right now? Are you eating those? Cars? Hey, I got showrunners over here, pal. Big production over here, okay, pal? <laughs> I ask, they bring. That's how it works around here. Oh. Another beer. But, gentlemen, looking at the list, Chick-fil-A was well represented, obviously. Um, a couple number ones between me, Brian, um, number yeah, two on Comiskey's me. list. Yeah. Um, mentioned, of course, um, by – by all of us, in a sense. Well, not Palugas, because Palugas went with a donut sandwich. Um, bourbon chicken from the Mole Food Court. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, I expected nothing less, by the way. <laughs> but, but two of you guys brought up Nathan's, which to me is so underrated. And not Very even probably considered fast food, although it is. Um, oh, yeah. It's I, I, I got to say, though, guys, I love the hot dogs. I love the, the fries. I love the pitchfork, the whole thing. But I love the knish. Love it. Oh, the Kanish guy. Oh, right? Dude, Dude, listen, so, I, there, was a, there was a truck by my house when I was growing up. Kanish, two hot dogs in the Kanish. They cut oh, it, wow. hot dogs in the Kanish, mustard in the Kanish. Let me tell you really? something. Really? I got you fired oh, up. That was, that, was, that was legit. I just got $100 <laughs> worth of uh, Zapardi's pizza ordered to my apartment out here. Gold nice. belt? What'd you get? Uh, no, you can order it through Zapardi's, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they will set. They will ship. That's they pizza ship. for another day, another time. We um, I I feel good about the list, guys. I think that um, regionally though, it seems like we have guys living in different spots here. Pete, you mentioned it. You do have checkers down in your neck of the woods now, Nashville. You're not getting um, you're not getting probably any uh, Trey Scalini. You're probably not getting much um, of the of the Those who parties. I enjoy. Those who parties. No, there's no, no bar. Happening. There's no, uh, no Pepe's. No. None of no. that. So there's, a lot, even, there's a lot yeah. of Domino's. A lot of Domino's. Okay. Papa John's? Actually, no. actually, yeah, there's, pop, there's a big, the big time pizza. It's called Marco's Pizza around here. Oh, Marco's is, is pretty good. We have those here too, actually. Yeah, not, no, no, not, not so much. But no? well, uh, listen, well, <laughs> I'll, we, have I'll, two, we have two Marco's though. So it's but on in one. Dixie, you got Jack in the Box, right? You got Jack in the Box, which you don't have a lot up in the Northeast. No. You got Checkers, nope. which you don't have a lot in the Northeast. And the Coupe de Gras is Waffle House. I mean, okay. there's a you Waffle House at every exit on the highway. Do you have Bojangles out there? We have Bojangles. Bojangles is top notch. That year when we were in North Carolina and we got snowed out yep. for those three days, I locked myself in our hotel room for two days and ate nothing but Bojangles. And <laughs> yeah, we the best. One of the spring trips that we were fortunate <laughs> enough to go on uh, after our season got before our season got canceled, we did go to a Bojangles in Carolina, and um, it is good. And I'm glad there's not many near me. Um, yeah, <laughs> because th that could be a bad, bad thing. That's an so issue. What, what are they That's serving right. up at Bojangles? Fried chicken? What do we got? Talk yeah. to me about. It's this. just like it's a regional fried chicken place, but they're just top notch. Like it's the way better. Are fantastic. There's yeah, another yeah. thing down here. Too, that was actually called, on my Z Zagby's. You ever hear of Zagby's? Zagby's? Yeah. Zag oh yeah. Zagby's. A lot of Zagby's here too. Zag you like Zagby's. Have you been there, Pete? No, I've never been I, there yet. You can't even pronounce I, it. Of course, he hasn't been there. I went to the one. I went there. For my very first time, again, on that same Carolina trip, as you could tell, what a week that was. I went there um, for my first time. I would say go. Just don't have great expectations, but go. Um, yeah, we it's also, a pretty good one. The look, one I thing have, I will say. I crossed it out, I, but look, Bojangles biscuits. I don't know if you can see yes, that. This is, yeah, you, you should have left that real, on. That's where you blew it. I should have. The well, other thing is. The one I want to give a shout out to a place that I discovered, and not that I discovered it, but finally got to go to when I went down south again this year. Um, a place called Cookout. I don't know if you guys are familiar with. Oh Cookout. yeah, there's a yeah, million yeah. of those around here too. I'll tell you the what. Shakes, the shakes are outstanding. And you get out of there if you spend six bucks in there, it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, right? it is that. right. You know, wow. Any place, any place that offers a full corn dog as a side or a full quesadilla as a side you know, or, or another burger as a side. I, if there's not a place that's not made for guys like us, then I don't know what is. They'll steak probably and shake too. One in our region. Yeah, steak steak and, shake. and shake is another. Yeah. Um, however, there's a reason steak I mean, and shake the good didn't news make is, the list. 
but there's a, the, the good news is you, well, the thing is you can't eat them all, um, yeah. which thankfully we don't have them all where I am. Um, but um, Griff, Long Island, Mike, Long Island, is there anything that's pretty Long Island centric that isn't anywhere else fast food wise? I'm trying to think, but probably not, right? All um, American yeah. Burger is the only thing I can really think of. All know, American like Burger. A, yeah, like a lot of our fast food, remember, is delis. Pizza and delis. Yeah, yeah bagels. Yeah. Yep. What so about like, Duchess? All things, all things I'm a champion yeah. of. I, I'm not saying that's bad. Diners. Yeah. Duchess. What about yeah. Duchess? No diners yeah, the down fried, here, guys. Yeah, the fried clam strips from Duchess are always on the fried menu for Comiskey. Liver and onions from Duchess. No, God. <laughs> But so, Pete, this is my question for you. You know, as we start to wrap, one of the things you miss. Now, you've lived, you lived um, growing up, obviously on the <clears> East Coast in the Northeast, Staten Island, New York. Um, you had that diner, pizzeria type of atmosphere for most of your life. What, what, what do you miss the most? Those, those two things I just mentioned, or living now in, in you know, the South. What, what's, the, what do you miss the most? Uh, Italian food. You know, where it's so readily available everywhere we've ever been. It's, uh, you know, you miss you miss going to get a good chicken parm sub or going to get a – or hero, whatever you're calling it in Long Island over there. But, you know, cold cuts, all that stuff. You just can't – bagels, you can't get that down here. I mean, uh, you know, bagels is a, it's just a puffy piece of bread down here. It's not, not the same. Those are the things you miss. But everything else, pretty good. Great, great people. A lot of fun, you know, good bars, good restaurants. You know, downtown Nashville is uh, – if, if you've never been, you should be. It is an unbelievable place, a lot of fun. Um, every, every day, every night you go down there, man, it looks like a freaking bachelor party down there. It's incredible. <laughs> and I'm assuming the barbecue is probably top-notch? The barbecue's, yeah, legit. There's barbecue on every corner, and it's, and it's all really good, really good. Martin's Barbecue, a okay. uh, place called uh, uh, Pat and Nick's. I mean, there's a million places that are just really, really good. All right. Well, when I get out there and I stay at your house for two weeks, we can go to all. Yeah, all figure it all out. Great. Yeah, we'll figure the whole thing out. Um, looking forward to that. Um, I think, again, guys, I think we did a good job. I think we hit a lot of the, uh, the ones that I thought we would. And at the end of the day, it's our opinion. So who cares what everybody thinks? Um, folks, please. Um, once you do cursing. listen, once, yeah, we got to clean up Comiskey's act if he comes on again, <laughs> but he was, we, we got him on the fly. So I understand we, yeah. uh, we appreciate both you and obviously coach Roz coming on. Um, best Thank of luck down. as we move forward here in the SEC, Vandy football, everyone's a fan now. Um, we're definitely looking to, uh, you know, <laughs> have us come back around again, more food lists, more happy hours, some repeat business from coach Roz if he's available. Um, if we can dig Comiskey out of the clouds, we'll get him too. Um, but I appreciate both of you guys coming on, spending time with us, and um, great job with your list. Graf Palugas, I expect nothing but the best from you, which you delivered on as usual. Um, Mike, again, your first thing you mentioned was mall, uh, food court, mall, bourbon chicken. So you just, you just keep on going, which is fantastic. Keep doing your thing. Um, yeah. Um, hopefully we all get lifted, guys, soon from this uh, – Quarantine lifestyle, lockdown, whatever we're on, we can go out and experience more things, eat more food, more importantly, um, and just kind of be more social with each other um, and make our way together at some point down the road. Thanks again for coming on, folks. We will be back again shortly. Enjoy your Mother's Day. Keep a lookout for Take It Deep. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, all those things. Stay six feet apart, wear your mask, all that nonsense. Unfortunately, we've got to keep doing it. But as they say, what, don't, be careful what you wish, man, because once the, once the masks come off, you really know what you're dealing with. I kind of like that. You see everyone now, everyone's a little mysterious, right? You, you know, people go up and down. <laughs> I mentioned on another, not to, not, to, not to extend this thing, but I mentioned on another podcast, I mean, it's, it's hard out there in the streets because right now you can't get haircuts. Not my problem. You can't go to salons, things like that. There's a lot of women walking around, you know, they're, they're hurt. They're not getting the care. They're losing a little off the fastball, so to speak, right? So it's, uh, it is what it is. Hopefully we get past that. Um, but you're all beautiful one way or the other. We'll see you soon, folks. Be well. Peace. Peace. Anchor down.